Hello, welcome to the Avro Anson Mark II. The Avro Anson started off life as a passenger airplane in the late 30s in England. When the war started, it was then converted to a two-engine trainer. Uh, when Canada entered the World War II, Canada was part of the British Commonwealth Air Training Program in which it uh, consigned to train airmen. They would start their training on a single engine airplane, something like a Tiger Moth, and after they had then learned to fly, then they would then graduate onto a, a two engine trainer like this. At the beginning of the war, uh, Britain had supplied Canada with a few two engine trainers, Airspeed Oxfords and Avro Anson's Mark I. But it soon became apparent that there was not enough of these two engine trainers to train everybody. And so Canada started building the Mark II Avro Anson. And it was more or less identical to the uh, made in England Mark I Anson, uh, except for the engines. The Mark II Avro Anson uh, then became the standard trainer in Canada for, um, for air crew going on to heavier airplanes. Uh, at the nose was where the bombardier would lay. You could train two pilots. There was a provision for a navigator and a provision for a radio operator. So it could handle a full crew. There were over 2,800 of these built in Canada. So when the war's over, there's no British air training program anymore. These aircraft were useless. They were surplus. They had two ways of handling that. One is to simply destroy them. Two, they sold off these in particular to the farmers of the areas. Uh, this particular aircraft was sold to a farmer around Vulcan because this is where this aircraft spent most of its life. They sold them off for about $25 to $50 each. Uh, usually you had to buy two. The problem was, wingspan is too big to get it down the road. They're not allowed to fly these. So they just simply went to the outside of the fuel tanks, cut the wings off, hooked them to a truck, carry them down the road. Why would the farmers need them? Well, first of all, they couldn't get rubber tires. So we've got rubber tires here. Secondly, piece of metal in there, which was hard to find at the time, because all that material was going towards the war effort and nobody else could get it. This fuselage in particular was taken off the wheels, set on the ground, turned into a chicken coop where they put the chickens. I find that kind of wild. <laughs>